Hi folks, I wanted to show you uh, one of my latest builds. Uh, going back to a bike wheel build here. This is a, um, a 27 inch bike wheel I've got with uh, 30, uh, sorry, 18 super pole magnets on it. So 36 magnets in total. On a wooden frame, there's no, no metal in the frame at all. It's all uh, stuck together with liquid nails. No screws or anything. A uh, little bit on the coil, this is a, a, a 5 filer coil of 18 gauge wire with R60 rods for welding uh, for the core, R60 welding rods for the core, uh, one strand of 18 gauge for the trigger and four strands for power. So we've got uh, four MJL21194 transistors, they're all matched or beta matched. Uh, the 1M5408 output diodes are also matched as are all the base resistors which are 100 ohm base resistors. Uh, this one likes to run at um, got a mass base resistance of two 100 ohms in parallel for 50 ohms for my trigger and there's a branch resistor on there which is 10 ohms with a, 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 a grain of wheat bulb in parallel. Uh, and you can see the neon bulbs on there as well. So this this machine I've I've had running off um, of of this battery, the primary battery, for about four four days, running straight. I haven't turned it off for about four days. Uh, it's all it's charging a battery of the same size, and these are um, these are gel cells. They're they're rated at 50 amp hour at 12 volts. Okay. So I've got an amp gauge hooked up here which shows that the machine is drawing around about half an amp. Okay. The machine the wheel is rotating at uh, let's see if I can get a reading off here. Okay, at about 130 RPM. Um, it's probably running a little bit slow because my, my primary battery is getting a little bit low. But my charge battery, um, it takes a while, but um, it's got it up to 14.4 you know, volts. This this battery is in reasonable condition. Um, last time I tested it, it uh, it gave me about 48 amp hours out of 50, so it's um, it's quite okay. Uh, my primary battery, last time I tested it, gave me 42 amp hours, uh, so it's okay. But it's a little bit low. Um, just to give you an idea. We'll, uh, we'll put the meter on the on the primary battery just to show you how low it is. So he's he's down about 11.2 volts, so it's almost time for a recharge. But um, and just dropping down 11.19 there, so it's running. So what I'm going to do is actually going to uh, to disconnect it. So I'm going to turn the machine off and, and give you a little bit of a look at the rotor. Um, now I only put this bike wheel together uh, last weekend um, and, and have had it running for the last four days or so. Uh, before I put the coil in it gave me a, a free spin time of just over over 25 minutes so which is pretty good considering if you look at it this way you can see um, it's got a bit of a warp in it as well so that's not too bad for a bike wheel that's not even straight it's got the standard bike wheel bearings in it um, the the hub in the hub of uh, this bike wheel has uh, bearings that sit in races okay so that means when you don't pull it apart the the ball bearings don't drop out they they sit in little races so we're going to stop this now and show you um, so what we've got is super pollen magnets here so we've got the Norse uh, glued together with super glue and then I've glued them all to the rim with uh, liquid nails which is is really good stuff it hasn't come off yet and then I've got some uh, strapping tape just for insurance to make sure they don't fly out so it's um, despite being a little bit warped it's it's uh, giving me a very good free will time so just wanted to talk about uh, this uh, metal bracket I've got on here. This is uh, 
our replication of uh, John Bedini's Ferris wheel where we've got the uh, the R60 rods going through the coil and through this block of timber here which is holding the coil in place so about a half an inch below the coil and then this metal plate is uh, is glued to the bottom of the coil as well so the idea of that being that it um, it shapes the magnetic fields to, to form another scalar south uh, just an experiment I'm trying as well so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, uh, you know, this guy's pretty much charged up. I'm going to load test him and see how much, uh, how many amp hours I've got out of it. This one here needs a recharge, but it's been running for about four days at about half an amp. Um, so in a 24-hour period, it's it's pulling about 12 amp hours times four days is about 48 amp hours I've pulled out of here so far. So. We'll see how it goes when we load test this. If I get more than 48 amp hours out of it, then um, you know we're, we're probably over the top there. So um, just thought I'd show you what I'm up to. Um, basically, I've just you know built it the way John has told everyone to build it, and uh, we'll we'll let the results speak for themselves. Cheers! Thanks for watching. Bye.